Hey, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I miss you guys. What's up, YouTube family? Oh, my goodness. I miss you guys. I've been going for a few days, but I'm back. Um, I had to take care of some personal things, okay? I may or may not share. I don't know, okay? But right now, I did order me a personal pan pizza. So, I'm going to go pick it up, and I'm going to come back and eat with y'all, okay? All right. I'll be back. Y'all, so I'm back. I'm gonna show y'all the box that the pizza came in. <clears throat> I got this from my local New York Pizza and Pasta, and y'all, they have the best homemade pizza. This is the box, and then this is this is a small personal pan. And y'all see how big it is? Like, don't this look like a big old large pizza? But this is a small personal pan, and I paid twelve dollars. So I'm gonna eat um. Maybe like two little slices, and I'm just gonna save the rest for the kids. Um, and that's normally what I do because I'm not cooking today. I cooked yesterday, so I'm like, if they don't want leftovers, they can just munch on this and go on the bed, okay? And y'all see how much this lives. Like, this is a big pizza. They like, keep sliding down, but it's it's so big, y'all. Like, you really can like feed multiple people because I have one too. It's seven slices, so it's it's a pretty nice size for a small. Um, and like I said, it was $4, well, it was $11 and change, but I always round up. So yeah, this is like officially my lunch break, but I was like, I'm gonna come and eat with y'all today. It's kind of like a mud thing. Just eat and talk and check in. Today is my last day of work. Um, I was, I worked for the past week just because I had, like I said, some personal things going on. And then I honestly, y'all, I just need a mental break. And of course I gotta have my ranch with my pizza, okay? Comment down below, do you eat ranch with your pizza? Um, yeah, so I had to have, oh my God, look, look at this. I had to have a, um, some days off just for like a mental health break, really, just to get my mind right. I was able to get a few things um, done that I wanted to do in my house. Um, as far as like, I wanted to hang up some, um, some pictures, I wanted to, do a little bit of cleaning, like clean my baseboards and stuff. Stuff that I normally don't have time to do, I was able to do it, so I'm thankful for that. And I wanted to talk about our goals and things we want to accomplish this year. Um, Cause I haven't had a chance to really sit down and talk about that with you guys because y'all just so much has been going on. And can y'all believe today is freaking January, like, 20 something but i know it's like it's 20 let me see yeah i'll be right back. let me go see what date it is y'all it's january 23rd like i cannot believe that january went back like this so i wanted to know um have you guys did you guys do a vision board have you did, do you write down your goals as far as me i like to write down my goals um just so i can have a visual i'm a visual person Mm, y'all. Mm. It ain't nothing like homemade pizza. Period. It's very rich in flavor, too. But, um, do you guys, like, write down your goals? I like to have a visual. I like to actually sit down and be able to put a check mark beside things that um, I like to do. Um... But I think it's important to have goals. Um, even if you don't have like a goal per se, I think it's important to have aspirations, and manifest manifestations written down. Um, because it's good to have things that you can touch and feel, you know. Um, so sometimes they say it's power in the tongue, but I feel like it's power in the pen too. Because you have to write down things. Like I'm an old school budgeter, y'all. I don't have these fancy tablets and all of that. Um, planners. I just go get regular notebook paper and I write down what I gotta pay. All right, I put my paycheck amount in the top. I write down everything that I have to pay. And then, then on the other side of the paper, I put down everything I want to pay for. And I just see, I match it up like that. Then I pay myself. Some people say you should pay yourself first, but I have a high priority in paying my bills. So. And do y'all believe that things are passed down? Like some of the trauma that you've experienced from a child is is passed down from your adulthood. Like, like my mom was a single parent. 
but I've never had like the trauma of like seeing our lights get cut off or you know things like that seeing cars get repossessed but I've seen where my mom had to um we had to make things stretch like she would tell me she'd be like gee you know now it's my last two hundred dollars so, you know, this week, I'm not going to have that extra lunch money for you. You know, she would just straight up tell me. And I, I do the same thing with my daughter because it gives me a newfound appreciation um, for being able to, you know, tell my daughter, like, hey, remain humble. Like, my daughter thinks that she can go to Starbucks every day, in which I'm thankful that I'm in a place in life to where my daughter can go to Starbucks every day and it won't really affect me. But I try to teach her that everybody doesn't have that luxury and you should be grateful that you're able to go to Starbucks when you can go. Now, even though I don't take her every day, I could, you know. Um, but things like that, um, so I'm, I'm very cautious when it comes to like paying bills and, you know, um, I just try to make sure that I can pay everything. And even if I can't pay everything in full, I'm paying on it, you know. So, um, but my main bills, as far as houses and cars and stuff, yeah, all that stuff is getting paid in full every month because I'm a, I'm a stickle for that. And before, and like y'all, I'm one of those women <laughs> and comment down below. Do you guys do this too? Do you guys like budgeting your maintenance? Like I'll be like hair, $200, nails, $100. Like I'm, I'm all the way down to that when it comes to my budget. So, and even with my daughter now, cause she's starting to go to the salon and get, you know, different hairstyles. I'm like, Kayla's here, $60. Like, I have it all down on paper so I can see, like, how much money I'm spending. And also, I write down all of my income. Because, as y'all know, um, I just started this content creator journey. And I'm like, okay, well, this money is going to be different. Like, I don't even want this money to be mixing with all my other money. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's a lot. Um, But I tell people, you really have to be like that. Especially in this economy, y'all. Because things are so expensive. Like, oh, my goodness. Let's talk about the economy. Am I the only one that going to grocery store about to pass out? Because I be, yeah, I can't believe milk. Milk is so expensive. Like, I never really try to complain about the stuff I need because I know we need groceries, so I'm going to have to buy it anyway. But y'all, I be looking at milk like, do, do y'all really want cereal? Like, I'm to that point with milk. And I feel like everything else is high too, but I just can't believe the price of milk and eggs because I, we use a lot of eggs in my house. Um, I just can't believe how high milk and eggs are. Like, I'm to the point, like, I don't even want to buy you no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, one of my goals for, for this year is definitely to get my health in order i definitely want to lose some weight and i want to do it like it's not running i'm talking about losing weight but i eat pizza but well I've, I've never been a skinny, skinny girl but since having children i have gained like 30 40 pounds and y'all be so tired and i'm like am i tired because i ain't sleep or am i tired just because i'm heavy which one is <laughs> you know like i be out of breath like i ain't about to do this mm -mm. And y'all know it's so easy now to just um, go talk to a doctor for a month or two and he's scheduled for surgery. Mm -mm. Because I was once that girl that was talking about getting surgery. And then my homeboy, he ended up having a surgery for me. Actually, he had a um, gastric sleeve done first. And then three months later, he went and got the... Um, I'm not really sure if it's called liposuction after you get the after you get the, the sleeve, but whatever, when they take the loose fat off, I, I don't really know the proper name for it. But, um, and he had that three months later, and then two months later, he passed. I really feel like it was too soon for him to have those procedures to close together, because he also had other health issues, but, like, sometimes I feel like we should listen to our body, you know, and sometimes it doesn't pay to always take the easy way out like as far as having surgery sometimes we just got to get in the gym stop eating so much and just lose weight naturally because our bodies you know can only take so much and that's why you know we really have to be careful when it comes to us picking having surgery versus um you know 
trying to lose it naturally. So I am trying to work better on like eating better. I'm walking more because you know how it is when you have like a sit down job, y'all. It be hard because you really be at the desk all day. Then when you get up from the desk, you walk in like two or three minutes. Then you sit me down and you get ready to go to bed. Mm -mm. You know? So that's one of my top priorities. And then, you know, I got some things I want to do business wise, but I really want to focus on my health this year. I really do. Health and finances, that's like number one, number two things I want to do. And even like your financial goals, um, be realistic, but it's okay to dream. You know, like one of my financial goals was to always, um, was to see a million dollars in my account. So I, I tell people that and they be like, well, mm -hmm. I was like, girl, I'm going to have a million dollars in my account. I just want to see it. I don't really have to, I don't have to spend it. I don't have to touch it. I just want to be able to see that I have access to that money. Um, yeah. And it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. Anything you want to do in life can be done. I tell people, all you got to do is believe. When you believe... And you ask God, and see, I'm trying to get you religious on here, okay. honey. I, I'm a testimony, okay. I'm a 32 year old walking testimony. When I tell you God will provide, all you gotta do is ask and believe. And when He says faith of must see, y'all know how small a must see this. I want you to comment down below and tell me how small a must see this, okay. You ain't gotta have a whole lot of faith, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But faith without work is dead. You got to put in some type of work. And that's why I'll be trying to tell my daughter. And listen, baby, you got to put in some type of work. You can't just sit here and pray to God. And, go, and Lord, Lord, I want to see me dollars in my account. Lord, I want a new house. Lord, I want a new car. And you ain't doing no footwork. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to save no money. You ain't trying to get that credit fee. You know what I'm saying? you. It's okay to pray, but you got to put in a little word, too, now. Huh? Let me, um... But I feel like goals are important. And it's so important to speak positive over yourself. Speak positive over your life and your situation. No matter what your situation is, don't let anybody talk negative to you or about you or about your situation. You don't need that. Okay? Because if they talking negative, they're praying negative. And that's why I can't let everybody pray for you. Can't let everybody talk. You can't talk to everybody about your situation. You have to have certain friends and family you talk to, certain friends and family you don't. And that's just the way it is. Some people got to be high and by. It's like that sometimes. Okay? But silent, silent moves are the best moves. You ain't got to tell everybody everything. If they want to know everything about you, they ain't for you anyway. I don't want to know everything my best friend got going on. If she tell me, she tell me. If she don't, I'm still cool. I'm still going to be the best friend I can be to her. That's how I am. When it's time for me to pull up, I'm going to pull up. But I don't even talk to my friends every day. I have two homegirls. I don't talk to them every day. When we talk, they will never, left, never left off. And if I got to pull up, they know I'm coming. So, that's all they that matter. <laughs> but, yes, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. As y'all see, I ain't got nothing but a few bites left. <clears throat> so, I can get ready to go get this child of mine. <clears throat> but we got cheer practice. And basketball game tonight, y'all. I'm, I'm prepared better this week, y'all. I got her bed pack and everything. But, you yeah. Am I the only ones that be saving they cook? I cook. Y'all cook, I got the best tea. But I go to cook, I don't even eat. I'm like, can I get a large tea, please? Extra ice. Like I did this time. I don't even buy food. I just go get tea. Cook, I got. Comment down below who y'all think got the best tea. I always say cook, I has good tea. If y'all have a cookout and um, McDonald's have diabetes tea, y'all die. McDonald's tea be so sweet. I have to let my ice milk. 
I said, can I get extra ice so that ice can melt on down in there? Because I know it's going to be real sweet. But yeah, y'all. Like. Twenty twenty four. want them goals. Write them down. Put action in them. When we speak a positive. And we're going to do some self-care this year. Okay? Period. You got to take care of you. Remember, you matter. You matter. You can't be running around here taking care of everybody. You got to take care of you, too. You got to pour back into your cup. You pouring in her cup, his cup, her cup, his cup. And now you empty. Who pouring into you? You have to pour into yourself. Right? All right, y'all. But if you like these mud banks, go ahead and comment down below. Let your girl know. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you never miss a upload from your girl. Like I said, it's no niche. You never know what you're going to find, okay? And I'm going to holler at y'all. Bye, y'all.